Hello friends, welcome. Let's get started and work with the, so with the card. When we click here, I will want to go to the movie detail page and see the details of this movie. For that, let's open the VS Code. And here, I'm going to close this, open the files, and I'm going to create a new view. Inside the views, let's create a new file, and I'm going to name it a movie details dot view. Okay, then let's go inside the routes and create a new route. So I'm going to copy this and paste. And this is going to be a route, a dynamic route. So let's say movies slash, and we can add the ID. And for that, we need to have the movies details here. So let's say movie details like this, what we have created. And let's save. Let's go to the movie details here. I'm going to save the setup to create a scaffolding of a view. And here I'm going to say H1 movie details page for now and let's see let's go to the browser we are inside the movies and right now we don't have anything here but if i navigate to the slash for example the id of the movie one hit enter we are in the movie details page as you can see and of course if we go to the two and if we type anything here we get this movie we go to the movie details page now when we go here based on the id so for example id1 i want i want to make a call and get the movie based on that id and display the details how we can get the id here with the view router we can in the template we can say for example here let's say M movie and here I'm going to add double curly braces dollar sign route we have access to the dollar sign route dot params and because we have added the ID in the route here we can access that ID here and if I save let's go and as you can see we have movie one and if I change this to two, enter, we have movie two. Good. Now let's work and get the, the details of the movie. First, I'm going to import here in the script setup. So let's import. Import from the view, the RF, and also the on mounted, because I'm going to make a call. So on mounted and then I'm going to also because in the script we cannot access the road params by saying dollar sign road we need to import from the view router so import from the view router the use route and we have here and now let's say I'm going to create a constant and I'm going to say uh, query movie or you just can say movie it's going to be equal with a ref and initially it's going to be an empty array or empty object you can say and then let's create a constant for is loading the same with have done with movies so is loading is going to be equal with ref and by default I'm going to make it true okay and then I'm going to get the route so const I'm going to add to the const route to be equal with the use route 
like this. Now we have the road, I'm going to make a call. So on mounted, I'm going to make an async await function here. And let's say now const result is going to be equal with await. And we need to fetch the data to the local host. So let's go to the movies we have here and let's copy this URL and paste it here. But we need also to add the ID here. So movies slash and ID movies slash and we need now here to use the backticks. So let's use backticks and let's add the template dollar sign colibrisis we have the route here you can say route dot params dot id okay like this then i'm going to create a constant and i'm going to say a response which is going to be equal with the result dot json and then let's say the query movie dot value to be equal with the response and also the is loading dot value to make it false okay we are okay with the script let's work with the template and for that i'm just going to copy and paste here to save some time for you so let's uh, paste it inside here and i'm going to show you so we have a section with the class bg white on dark bg gray 900 margin 6 and padding 4 and then i added the div class container and check we have loading is loading we say is loading and let's say dot 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 here and then we added a div v else so if it's not loading we are going to show this div with class container flex flex call items center px4 and py12 mx auto excel flex row and here i just have displayed a params just to show you the params road params id and then a div flex justify center excel with point one slash two and add the image with some classes here and i bind the source and add the query movie dot poster and an alt and i say query movie dot title and then also div with some classes here as you can see a h2 for the title then a span for year span for the runtime and just some dummy uh, dummy watch online button and download button so let's save this and let's navigate in the browser uh, we don't see console dot log the response and the refresh we have a promise and then we have an object ah yeah we need to say here a wait sorry a wait for that and now And you can see we have the image, the title, the year, and the runtime. Let's go back to the movies. Click this one, for example. Okay. Now, let's go and in the movie cards. So let's go to the movie card. As I said, you... When we go to the movies, I want to click here and navigate to that one. 
so let's go to the this one for example and i'm going to cut this and add a an router link we going to go to and we need to bind because i'm going to add backticks here and we need to go to the slash movies slash and add dollar sign double curly braces and here we need to add the movie dot id like this close and paste here the h5 and now if i refresh okay if i go to the lion yeah we are in the lion as you can see go back go to this one doctor strange and go to this one and that's it okay but if you don't like this one we can use uh, our old names and that is going to be for the next video so see you in the next one all the best